Folks, Justin here, and uh, we have something kind of different planned for today. Uh, Dragon Tamer Blade, um, whose YouTube channel I highly recommend you check out, has been making some content for a while, uh, featuring Elder Scrolls Legends. Um, challenged me to a pretty cool little uh, activity. Um, so I got this deck here called 50% Off Battle Mage Deck. And the way it worked was, we each chose a color, and then... Um, chose 25 cards in that color and uh, exchanged those uh, sets of cards. We, and we had backup choices, too, of a different color in case we chose the same color. And then we had to build a deck with it. He chose blue, and he chose a lot of great stuff. He chose Firebolt, Shrieking Harpy, Daggerfall Mage, Desperate Conjuring, Mace of Encumbrance, Arcanist, Tormentor, so some Shackle Synergy, some value cards, some aggressive cards. And I chose uh, some cards that I thought had a little bit of synergy with themselves. Uh, Rapid Shot and Sharpshooter Scout and Skaven Pyromancer for ping effects. Silvernar Tracker and Fearless uh, Nordlander to go along with them, along with one Fireball. A Skirmisher's Elixir because I never see that card played. Four, <laughs> three Trebuchets because it's fun. Two Child of Hercene because it's a beefy card and I wanted an opportunity to play it. A Volandrung and two Dramora Marcanes. Marcanaz. So, uh, together, you know, this is the 50% off deck, and I'm going to hop onto the ladder. I'm certainly sitting at rank 1. I'm going to hop on the ladder with this deck that I've never played, not even against the AI, for three games, and we're going to see together how those games go. Here we go. This should be fun. Or at least, hopefully, funny. <laughs> So what are we going to run into? What do we want to run into with this list of cards? It's kind of a strange smattering of cards. I'm glad that Dragon Tamer Blade chose playable cards, uh, because I I didn't do a great job. And we're playing against Alex KGB. We're going to embarrass ourselves with our complete uh, hodgepodge of a deck against another content creator. This should be funny. <laughs> well, I'm glad the whole gang is getting together here. Uh, we keep Sharpshooter Scout because it's a card we can play. We throw the other two back. And we got two sharpshooter scouts, he's gonna think we're crazy. Greetings. My arrows shall fly true. Alright. Uh this hand doesn't look great against control mage. We will see though what happens. Yeah, I gotta let him know I'm doing something goofy here. I'm recording a vi a video for a uh, challenge. Challenge, I can't spell apparently, that Dragon Tamer Blade issued me. Uh -oh. oh my god, he's running the creatureless deck. Oh, he's not. How dare he. Okay, well, we're just going to keep on putting the pressure on him with uh, these very nice premium sharpshooter scouts. <laughs> see what we got. Yeah, Brutal Ashlander could wipe our board. Um, and Skaven Pyromancer are not good against what we have going on here. Uh, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to swing. Well, you know, this changes things. I was just going to swing face and Pyromancer so I had a 50% chance of drawing a card. <laughs> but I'm just going to instead play the Dragonfall Mage because this, I think no matter what happens here, like, I end up ahead. Thank you very much, Dragon Tamer, for putting some playable cards in this list. Uh, you know. Oh my god. What is this? This is great. Perfect. Okay. So now we have a play for this turn. <laughs> Although, I guess we could trigger Royal Sage. That's probably more valuable. Yeah. So let's let's do that. Let's get Royal Sage in on the action. We got Guard, Lethal. Some very useful procs there. <laughs> And we're gonna see what we can get done now. I'm eager to see what he does with his Mundestone. Yeah, cunning ally. With ward, I assume. Yep. Of course it triggers. And it's got regenerate. Alright, regenerate's not so bad. That's got ward. That's that's probably good for us, right? Um 
So we could do this to make him trade both of them in. I guess that seems like an alright play. Okay. So we got the Fearless, Fearless, Fearless Nordlander. We're just going to hold on to the rapid shot. And I mean, next turn we can lay down our child of her scene. The elements are mine to control. I don't have an answer to that in the deck. And it got guard. <laughs> okay. And it got drained. Um, you know, we can... Okay, I was mistaken. We don't have an answer to that at all. So we Pyromancer to make sure we get rid of this. And we drop this down too. Um, and next turn, we can actually rapid shot it uh, if we want to get some breakthrough damage in. This getting drained is not ideal. But we will break a rune and get another card. We've got Gardener of Swords. And a mace. Solid. Alright. Well, I think we just lose. Although, ooh, ooh, that's pretty nice. Put that there so we can swing it into that. Um, I think we probably just Rapid Shot and Child. Um... Seems pretty good. I got a lot more resources, a little less life. He does have the Munda Stone in play. Uh, this is the first season I've taken this long to get to Legend, and I, uh, apparently there's just all sorts of stuff going on at Legend Rank that I was not aware of. Alright. It's got Charge. It's pretty good, and a Soul Split. Gotta love Munda Stone. Generate, breakthrough, that's fine. Um, trebuchet. Is it time to trebuchet? I think it is time to trebuchet. Um, hmm. So I could just sacrifice this dude. I could mace this dude so it survives and I can swing face. And then I can also play kind of off meta. I love it. Mine's a total meme deck. <laughs> okay, um, what's the right play here? It might just be Firebolt Swing, Trebuchet, Shackle. Because once you get the Trebuchet online, I know it, it seems like the jankiest card in the world, but it's really powerful. I mean, Breakthrough, Regenerate. Are we going to see some sweet trebuchet action? Survives Ice Storm. Worth pointing out. Let's do this. No trigger. Gets guard though, which is pretty good. Soul splitting for some extra value, some drain or some charge, I imagine. Charge here would be pretty devastating. Guard. Cruel fire. Oh, how dare you. How dare you. Um... <laughs> Well, well, well. Do we want an 8-drop rather than swinging in? I think the answer to that is almost certainly yes. Oh, that's sweet, sweet value. Um, yeah, just child of her scene. That was pretty cool there for a second. Five creatures in one lane. We are hacking. Not actually hacking, disclaimer. Not hacking. Thank God you don't have Mundestone. Yeah, m my soul would not allow me to do such a thing. Come on, friends list. Oh, I got a bunch of people online right now. Okay. So this got war a breakthrough. Solid on one one. We got Tavani Arcanist. Are we gonna get the Spider Daedra kill on camera? Obviously we don't fireball. This ooh. <laughs> 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 
Okay. 1 0 with the meme deck at rank 1. <laughs> we'll say good game to him as soon as it lets us. We'll go up to one star, or two stars, I guess. And we'll get our rewards. I think we deserve some pretty sweet rewards for what we just accomplished. Evermore Stewart, 15 gold. Okay. Let's bring up our social window real quick so we can congratulate our opponent. Sorry for the phone ringing. Um, and then we will... Uh, then we will hop right back into the ladder with our meme deck. So what have we decided so far? We didn't get any trebuchet value, uh, although it did eat some serious uh, cool fire bloom damage. Um, we didn't. Uh, we definitely got Volan drawing and Child of Her Scene value. These cards were bonkers. Hey, playing against Beluga Senin. Um, I feel like there's a joke here about whales, but he's a Dragon Slayer. So it's not Moby Dick, but maybe one of his equally obsessed cousins or something. And uh, we'll keep a Royal Sage, right? Yeah. Silver and our tracker, we're just going to play on two. Or on one, I guess. Oh, we got Trebuchet, so I think we're probably going to win this one. This herd needs thinning. So, we're going to see a two drop with Ward. Careful there. Friend. There we go. We're gonna harpy that. Ooh, we're gonna harpy and sharpshooter scout. Yeah! Next turn we're gonna royal sage because there's not a whole lot of value to royal saging with trebuchet. Obviously, if it gets drain or if it gets, uh, I mean, ward's not bad, but if it gets drain or it gets, um, what if we just harpy again? I was going to say Drain or Lethal is kind of funny, but... I'm just going to Harpy again, start spreading out my threats, and just go full aggro. So we're playing, like, basically... this Like last game, we played very differently than this one, which is turning out sort of just like we're bad Battle Mage aggro. So hopefully we can get this guy Lethal, right? Oh, <laughs> that kills all our creatures. And it always triggers. You got it, man. Alright, so Royal Sage. Desperate Conjuring might be our play next turn. Regenerate. Breakthrough. About what we should expect. And Charge. I'll take Charge. I don't think we actually run Lightning Bolt. I can't remember if we do or not. Hopefully we do. Only looked at the list briefly. <laughs> this is like... Oh, it's Harpy. Okay. So... He might be able to, likely, can take out both our creatures. We can Desperate Conjuring this into a 6-drop. Um, I'm not sure what we'd be looking for. What do you got? Yeah. Wow. So we could develop Trebuchet. We can... Yeah, we're going to track her, because we can. Push that damage. And then we're going to play Trebuchet. And hopefully ride three trebuchet hits to the dome for, for, for victory. Uh, but more than likely, we just desperate conjuring trebuchet next turn. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're playing to our outs as limited as they are. Sure. I think that's the I best one, right? You have to slam that in there. Now we got two great trebuchet targets. I am a child. Dark. Night Shadow <laughs> and Sorcerer Aggro. Fair enough. Hits here, we can scave in Pyromancer. Oh, the value. Oh my god, I forgot to Desperate Conjuring. I was so impressed with my RNG. Well, that's a bummer. So now we're going to get a 5 drop. And he's going to get a free kill. And he's got Preserve of the Root, too. So, this is. It is what it is. Let's see if we can get any kind of damage here. We got a Blood Dragon. Wow. If we top deck Firebolt and he can't kill this, we win. <laughs> My arrows shall fly true. <laughs> 
Volendrung wins us the game now. Confound you. Yeah. Skirmishers Elixir do it? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You must be cleansed. Oh. I forgot he has one of the most skill intensive cards in the game in his hand. So we lose. <laughs> because our dragon got silenced. Um, there's no way we can stack enough damage here. We can do six. That is it, so. Let's see if we have any outs. Ah, oh, so close in so many respects. Um, Fire. yeah, even Lightning Bolt won't do it, so. Good game, Beluga. The battle is yours. It's, a, it's a shame, really, that uh, Shadowfin Priest exists oh, and has Battle Cry remove fun. <laughs> okay. I don't know that that card's overpowered, I just know that because it's in a deck that everybody plays, it's, you know, feels like it's everywhere. Alright, so this is our last game. We're one and one. We had that game almost locked up. Didn't quite get there. Playing against Cirques. S-E-R-X. And let's see what Cirques has in store for us. Supreme Atromancer has his title, so, uh, there's that. Playing against Battle Mage. Alright. Um... We'll keep the Pyromancer in case it's Aggro Battle Mage. This hand could be okay. You know, we're going to miss our first turn, but we got two threes. I think I kind of want to see, like, a Relentless Raider. Alright, man, are we going to end our challenge in the Serpent or not? Our opponent has a very difficult decision to make here. I uh, don't fault him. So we're surfing the net in the background. Some new cards got revealed recently. That's pretty cool. Alright, now we can play the game. Alright. Turn two. If it's control... I mean, okay. So yeah, we're laying down our Daggerfall Mage. Which sort of combos with Skaven Pyromancer or Rapid Shot. Although, it's going to be tempting to play Royal Sage or Trebuchet next turn. It's got a raiding party. Okay, so that's what we're facing. So if we can burn him down, we might be able to win. I think Trebuchet is probably invaluable against this deck. So I'm actually playing that first. Sorry about that noise in the background, guys. Just a little cat anger. Okay, we got the Earthbound Spinner, and is it going to hit this? I assume it does. See how greedy he is. This is the greedy play. This is the responsible play. Because next turn, I'm probably just royal saging and firebolting no matter what happens. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Lethal on a ward creature. Drain on this is sad. Maybe we get some equipment or a Volendrung for that. Um, but yeah, we just remove that. Keep on trucking. Now next turn, we do have a little bit of a combo. We have Sca Skaven Pyromancer and into Tracker. Or we have Rapid Shot into Tracker. So, guy's got a lot of cards in his hand, obviously. And our Tracker's only lasting one the turn. Another Earthbone Spinner, of course. Yep. So we can we can remove that. Or we could just rapid shot Trebuchet. We're gonna lose this. You can't escape. I think we keep those two together since they work pretty well. Um, he's going to have to use his Nord Firebrand or a Fire or a Lightning Bolt, both of which are fine, to remove the Royal Sage. The day is mine. 
see what he has. The elements are mine to control. Oh, there we go. We have no we have no silence effects or anything in our deck to deal with that. It's gonna get hit with this because RNG. Ooh. Well, you got the lightning bolt though. All right, well done. Good news is though is that now we're gonna ignore this lane. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep putting pressure on. You know, we didn't get any value from our pyromancer there, but that's okay. No lane change effects. Uh, he could have ice storm, which would be a bummer. Rapid shot, sure. Into rapid shot, into pyromancer. Into rapid shot, into pyromancer. Let heat things. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Emulating blast. Emulating blast might be good. <laughs> I'll take the vanguard. We'll just play that little fella there. Kind of wait. Hopefully he floods the board, overextends, and we emulating blast. That's really, that's our only move. Let's shed some of course. On the problem. Really though, realistically, like, I don't think we have any way back into this game. Uh, unless he just makes some colossal mistakes. Okay. If he doesn't play a creature... Oh, oh there we go. So, I am going to go ahead and Emulating Blast, because this play to me says I don't have... Um... My arrows shall fly true. I don't have Supreme Atromancer in hand. I do pretty appreciate the dedication of the cause, though. Having the Supreme Atromancer title, playing uh, the Supreme Atromancer Battle Mage uh, deck, it's impressive. <sighs> Firebolt for our troubles. So we can Firebolt swing into the Pyromancer. Those two silence effects hurt from our opponent. I mean, it is what it is. The two most popular uh, classes, Sorcerer and Battle Mage, are all running a lot of silence effects. Or are running every silence effect that's playable, that they can play. Follow me, men. Yeah. So, we got Lightning Bolt for that. Um, Fire! all right, we're, we're not doing terribly. You won't escape. These words are mine. So we'll just take another five here. I mean, <laughs> I'm under no illusions that we're going to win. We almost won game two. We did win game one, but, uh, game one was against a meme deck. Game two was, uh, you know, utterly annihilated once my opponent got board control. So how is the deck? Um, not great. <laughs> Suppose he could leave that alive, we could draw a Volendrung, although I don't think this deck has a particularly hard time dealing one damage to a creature in the field lane alone. Yeah, Dress Tormentor. Let's heat things up. You got it, man. My main man. Careful there, friend. Uh huh. So we do have Child of Her Scene, which might. I mean, I want to. Got seven, eight, nine. This deck always has two fire, uh, lightning bolts in hand. Let's so I'm gonna play the Child up. of Her Scene. Maybe we don't die, maybe we can attack next turn, maybe we draw Volendrung. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. We will see. We have outs. Definitely have outs. So overall, how do I feel about the challenge? Um, probably funnier not at rank one, belligerent giant. 
we lose the game. There's the mace, which would have been real nice next turn. I don't think there's a way we survive, unfortunately. There's the Volendrung. Um, yeah, so that was another loss. The battle is yours. Uh, how do I feel about the challenge? Um, it was okay. Uh, some cool moments because of the cards, the uh, unique cards we're playing. But, uh, would have been more fun um, playing against some other non-meta decks. Like, that first game was cool because, you know, it wasn't uh, the meta deck. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the challenge. I will now dig myself out of the serpent. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye-bye.